Jesus Christ. Wake up! Come on! Get to it! Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, everyone. Come on, wake up. It's time for stream. It's time for stream. Wake up. Wake up. It's time for stream. It's time for stream. Wake, wake up. All right, wake up now. Wake up now. Wake up now. Wake up now. All right. Um, uh, I don't know what starting shoot I should use. All right. Hold on. Um, oh, what thing do we choose today? Thank you for all the subs. Um, hold on. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do, uh, the one that's fun. Let's do the one that's fun. Uh, um, hmm. Oh, I know which one we can do. This one's a good one. All right. I'll see you guys in four minutes, 40 seconds. Thank you. Thank you for the five tier ones. Thank you. There we go. Thank you guys. 13 months, 9 months, 11 months, 3 months, 21 months, 5 months. Five tier ones. Thank you, Anonymous. Oh, 
Yo! Thank you, Pyromance Me for the 22 ones. Thank you. Hope that you're doing well. Train, by the way, thank you. Uh, hold on, let me, let me let me change it. Hold on. Uh, 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 um, um, this is not. Hold on, we need to pause. Pause. Hold on. And you put on. Oh, where is it? Come on. Where is the thing? Where is the, th the, the, the thing? Ah, shoot. What's it called? Crap. I don't remember what it's called. Wait, I know what it's called. I've got an idea. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> it's the, um, not for resale thing. <gasps> hi, hi, chat. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a little bit of a different stream. <gasps> hi, chat. How are we? How are we, everyone? How are we? Look, it's you guys. It's the, it's you guys. Look at that. <laughs> all all 16 of you right there. You're all there. You're all there. <laughs> Thank you for this. Six months, 21 months. Thank you. Uh, today, I thought, basically yesterday, I was doing a little, um, a little Q&A thing. Right. And I got into some like good topics and everything. We were just talking. It was nice. And I thought might as well do this live. Right. Might as well just do this live. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a Q&A thing, uh, which is going to be pretty fun, which is going to be pretty fun. So we're all going to be uh, we're all just going to be chilling. We're all just going to be chilling. We're going to be having a good time. Um, we're going to be talking about stuff. I'm going to be talking about like, you know, my opinions on film and everything. And as you can see, I have a little, I have the little like topic thing right here. So it'll show what I'm talking about for people that join. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of like a little Q and A thing or just me chatting. Um, I was thinking we could do like a, like a Twitter hashtag thing for questions. I'll, um, I'll think of what to make it as I tell you guys sort of the, sort of the beginning stories, I guess. Um, Cause that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Face reveal right now. <laughs> Is Charlie going to be on stream again? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably pretty soon. Face reveal right now. I, okay, to be fair, though, uh, I want to talk about face reveal. Um, one, I don't think I'll ever face reveal. But if I do, I know how I'm going to do it. It's going to be on a random stream. I don't even, like, it's going to be on a random stream. If I, if I do. Right now, I don't think I'm going to. Right? I don't think I'm going to. But it's literally just going to be on a random stream. For, for no, for no reason. Like, there's going to be nothing that alludes to it. It's going to be just a random stream that's going to be completely normal. And I'm just going to go live with, like, face cam or something. And people are just going to be like, what the hell? That's going to be funny. Like, that's, just, that's, what, that's what it's going to be. Because I want to make it, like, a big deal. Because the thing is, is that I want to I make it, like... Well, I know it will, it will be, like, a, a big deal, quote-unquote, if I ever do. But, like, I just want it to be chill. So that's what we're going to... So that's what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to... I'm literally just going to go live one day and just have it be like, oh, yeah, you're... Here it is, by the way. Um, because it'll be funny. It'll just be funny. Because it's like, it's going to be, because the thing is, right? That means that the first people, when it's on just like a random stream, right? That means that the first people that are seeing, that are seeing it are people that are watching the content. Right? Like, that's the thing. That's, that's also a little bit of a special thing. It's like the first people to see it are going to be the people who actually watch the content, who actually like, you know, watch me, right? I don't want to do like some like, like hype, like, like extremely hyped up thing where like, you know, everyone, everyone from everywhere, you know, I think, cause I think that's a lot, it's a lot nicer. I think it's a lot nicer that way, you know? Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll ever face real. It's it's definitely not happening like soon. It's not gonna be like 
you, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys at least when you're going to want to start to have to worry. All right, that's the, um, that's the, that's the, that's like, so right now you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm just making, I'm just making that clear because I don't want people to be like really, really stressed. Um, but yeah, so right now you don't really have to worry about it, but I'll let you know if you ever, if you ever have to. I mean, I mean, worry is in like worry about like missing the thing or whatever, you know? Yeah, I'll just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And no one has said this in chat, but I'm going to act like I'm reading it from a chat message. Um, face reveal, face reveal and gen loss. I, I've seen, I've seen that go around a bunch. Um, I don't think so, but, but I don't, I don't think so, but it's not out of the question. Like, it depends on how good it is. Like, if I'm, if I'm really feeling it, and I'm like, this is going to be just like the, the, the culmination of absolutely everything that I do, then maybe, maybe, but it'll be like, it'll like my, my face will be like covered in something. I think it'll, so I'll take, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll like take off like the mask or whatever. And my face will just be like covered in blood or something. <laughs> and that's going to be like the only screenshot of it. It's just, it's just that. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick. I mean, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what this, I don't, I don't even, I, I can't even read that sentence. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do it at your own pace. Oh, I am. Don't worry. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, it'll be cool. Will you make a moment out of it? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a, I'll make a moment. Yeah, that'll certainly be a moment, won't it? <laughs> oh man, I like I like doing these streams. These streams are fun. These streams are a lot more fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get you get the moment. <laughs> oh man, let's see, let's see. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, let me see. So do. I'm trying to think because I want I want you guys to ask questions and like topics and everything. But when they when they go like when they go like really, really fast, I can't read them. So use the hash. Let's make the hashtag. Um, We're going to do use use the hashtag on like Twitter or anything. because that's where I'm going to be looking. Uh, hashtag Rambu Q&A stream. That, that OK, that's that's basic. I was going to do like a really long one. That'd be funny. But yeah, that's the that's the one. OK. I'll put it down like right there. All right, there it is. There's the there's the hashtag they'll be looking through in a sec. Fill it up with fill it up with questions like the good ones, and I'll look at it in like a second. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter, then follow me on Twitter. I don't have Twitter. Keep it that way. This is for the people that have Twitter and have already gone past that point. I would not recommend getting Twitter. I'm gonna be, I'm going to be honest. I do not recommend getting Twitter. <laughs> I, I do not recommend it. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be updating more on other platforms. I've decided. Um, don't, don't download Twitter. Trust me. And if you do download Twitter, like, uh, safe, safe distance and be safe as well. Many, many, many of things can go wrong. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be. That's what we're going to be doing today. Oh man. Uh, do Q and A's on, on Tumblr? I have, I have been. That's, that's literally where we got this, the idea for this stream from. That's literally, that's literally the idea for this stream came from me doing that yesterday. All right. Um, all right. Hashtag Rambu Q&A stream. Let's, let's, let's look at it. Let's look at it, everyone. All right. All right. <laughs> Give us the Frisbee photos. Again, you guys know the deal. You guys, you guys, I don't need to re-say the deal. You guys know the deal. That's how you're getting Frisbee photos. That's the only way. That's the, that's the only way. You're wrong for that? No, no, it's, 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 it's my dog. All right. At like 3, 6 a.m. My, my sleep schedule currently has me waking up at about 3 p.m. and going to sleep at about, um, what's the word? Uh, about like 6, 6 a.m. That's, that's my, um, that's my sleep schedule currently. That's my sleep schedule. Have you seen the new pu puss in puss? <laughs> 
pause. Okay, the Puss in Boots movie. Um, wrong, wrong time to stutter there. Wrong, terrible, terrible, awful time to stutter. Um, uh, no, I haven't seen it. I want to though, because I've heard that it's very, very good. Um, and I also heard that that Megan movie apparently is pretty good as well, which is surprising for a, for a January horror film, but apparently, apparently the Megan movie is not bad. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably watch that one too. It's good. Yeah. I mean, Hey, if it's, I was just, uh, they're, they're just, their marketing thing made me very afraid of how that movie was going to turn out because it was like, they, they really tried to push that dance. You know, they really, they really tried to push that dance and it worked because I'm talking about it. Right. So obviously the marketing strategy worked. Um, see, that's the thing. That's the interesting thing with, um, with bad marketing strategies is they get you talking about them, right? That's the thing, right? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, right? Every single marketing strategy, when it is ridiculous, it works well. That's the thing. Like, because you talk about it. You talk about, oh, that ad was so terrible, right? But you're talking about the ad. You're talking about the product. You're doing more than if it was like a good ad, right? And it's just like, it's the same reason why I, um, in fun fact, I'm going to tell you guys this. I don't know if, I, I've, if I've talked about this before. I put mistakes in, um, in, I used to, or I used to, as, a, as like a strategy, I put mistakes in the merch announcements on purpose so that people would, would, would comment on it and talk about it more. And it, and it worked. That's the thing. Like I, I, I used to put mistakes in them on purpose so that people would be like, oh, you put the date wrong. It's meant to be this date. And then they'll say the merch date of release, right? Like that's the thing. Ridiculous marketing strategies. Marketing is something that I can talk about a lot, but they work. They work really well because they get you talking about it. Any any single time that there is controversy or anything, it is a, it is a terrible thing. But whenever there is controversy around a company, because of how much advertisements it's getting, even when people are trying to do like a like a um like a boycott of it, those rarely work because it just gets the name out there more and they end up just getting more sales. Like genuinely, that's 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 why like like they play into ridiculous marketing and they and sometimes corporations and brands will play into sort of like controversy and chaos and everything because it gets their name out there right and it's the same it's the it's the same type of thing um with like with like creator drama as well whenever there is like you know like creator drama like when there used to be like a bunch of like fights between people right so like you know like the um like the sort of like boxing thing and everything right they play up the controversies so that you talk about it more right? And that you watch them more, right? Like, like, it, 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 like things peak when there is, when there is either controversy or ridiculousness or just something about it. Like the, the num the numbers go up, right? And, and many, um, like YouTube influencers, they play into that. That's the thing. They, they play, they play into that a lot and they're just like, oh yeah, if I just continue, you know, like having like fake beef with this person, both of our numbers are going to go up and it's a win-win. Like I can, I can guarantee it. It's very, it's very interesting. I can, I can talk about it for ages on just like marketing is, marketing is very weird. Marketing is very, very weird. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling through. I'm scrolling through the hashtag now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. There we go. There we go. Hmm. How many other characters are going to be showing up in Generation Loss? A lot. There's going to be, there's going to be a, there's going to be a good amount. Uh, spare. Oh, okay. Hold on. Fit. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Wait, hold on. I, I'm going to feel really bad mispronouncing it. So hold on. I have to listen to it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry if I butcher anything, but fit. Bro, oh, I, I, I'm really, I really hate like butchering things on stream, but okay. Uh, Feliz de la Re Reyes, Reyes, right? Feliz de la Reyes. Sweet. I think, I, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. I don't think I did at all, but. 
Uh, a phrase used to wish Happy Wise Men Day. Celebrate on January 6th in some Spanish speaking countries. Sweet. Sweet. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hmm. How do you. <laughs> okay. Um. Did you watch Avatar 2? Um. Yeah, I did. I saw it like my 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 family wanted to go see it and everything. So then I I watched it and everything. I don't get I, I like this is Avatar has never been a thing that I've like gotten. Like I've never I've never under like not necessarily not necessarily like gotten like but like it's just like I don't it it why has it made that much money? Like that's that's the thing. Right? Like, why has it made that much money? That's what I that's what I don't get. You know? I bought Jesus and Wild today. I had some streamer make an ad for them crazy. You know, exactly. Um, I told it's so funny. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back to the I'm gonna go back to it in a second. But I was talking I was talking um in the beginning of that, I was talking to the uh Cheez It like executives, right? And I was just like, hey, if you let me make an ad, you have it be ridiculous. It will do it will do better than if I were to make like a sponsored video. More people will talk about it. It will get more traction. And they went, OK. And they just went, they went, OK. And I was just like, sweet, sweet. Hold on. I want to find something. I want to find something. I want to show. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this. Um, If I'm not, then oh, well. But let me show you guys something. Um... Hold on. There it is. Okay. I'm going to show you guys something. This is this is a a part of one of the ads that got I made I made about 5 ads for them. Right? And 3 of them got denied um because it wasn't because it wasn't like, you know, up to the original thing. Right? Which is which is completely fair. Um which is completely fair. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to find... Okay, yeah, they didn't... Oh, yeah. So, the, the, I'm scrolling through, like, currently, like, paragraphs. Hold on. Oh, wait, let me turn this down. Jesus Christ, this music's getting loud. Hold on. Let me let me show you guys one of these. Because there, there was a screenshot from one of them that's really, really funny that I spent, like, that I spent, like, 40 minutes on. I'm not even kidding. I had to, like, motion track something, and I spent, like, 40 minutes on this thing. Hold on. Where Where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think I've got it. Hold on. Ah, I, I found it. I found it. Okay. Have you ever been? Nope. I, I don't know if I can show this, but I'm going to show, I'm going to show one of the, um, I'm going to just show a couple of screenshots from it. Okay. I'm going to show, I'm going to show a couple of screenshots from it. So there's, um, okay. So there's this. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to find it. Where is it? This is, this isn't the good one. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> hold on let me show you guys so this is something that i sent to actual executives um i know i know I, I know i've been but um i i motion tracked like all of this and i motion tracked the text to match the hilt of 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 the um of what you're about to see so this is something this is a screenshot from one of the commercials that got denied <laughs> this is this is a screenshot of one of them so there is like a full fight sequence <laughs> like i made a i made a full fight sequence and i don't know if i'm allowed to legally show it i don't know if i'm allowed to show it or not but this is this is just one of the screenshots <laughs> i did like a whole i did a whole fight sequence by green screening myself in and it was it was fantastic it was it was great <laughs> <laughs> that's what we did. That's that's just what we did. Um, yeah. There's there's a lot. There's a lot. I wanted to do one that was shot like cinematically and was gonna be like a love story between me and a box of Cheez It or Cheez It crackers. Um, but that they denied that. So 
You know when like you know when it shows like the pink at the end of that? You know, you know, you know at the end of the original commercial where it shows like the pink? You know, the pink lighting and everything? That was part of that. That was just a scene from that that I just put at the end. That was that was a scene from that that I put at the end. Cause I just thought, hey, you know what would be really funny? <laughs> and my god, it <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> All right, it was funny. When is Robo Bakes Cake 2 coming out? Um, it's going to be coming out hopefully by the end of the month. Um, I there's a weird thing with the audio where I have to mix two tracks. So that's been a little bit of a roadblock that I have to figure out how to do. Um, and I've also been mainly working on the first generation lost prequel. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I found a absolutely fantastic um OST guy and he's been helping out with that hold on let me okay hold on I'll, I'll show I'll give you guys like literally a second of of what was made hold on okay that's it that's all you're getting um and that's just the intro um that's that's all that's all you're getting like that is that is literally the second um <laughs> yeah it's, it's he's, he's he's absolutely nuts so I'm really excited um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get the Generation Lost prequel done by the end of January. Uh, if not the end of January, then absolutely by like mid-February. Um, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just scrolling through the, uh, the little hashtag. Hashtag Rambu Q&A stream. Let's see. Um... Let's see, let's see. When do we get the OST? When Generation 1 is done? When, when generation done is is fully done that's what that's when you're that's when you're getting it that's when that's when you're getting it um you literally didn't hear anything exactly exactly all right let's let's find some let's find some good questions let's find some good questions should post more of your paint drawings um yeah i i okay fun fact i actually originally wanted to be like one of those like story time artists uh channels as a kid I wanted to be like one of those, you know, like um, odd ones out, Jane animations. I like. Uh, I wanted to be. I wanted to. I wanted to do that. Um. So I like got like a drawing tablet. I got like a like I got like you know uh what is it like I got like the like a uh, it was like it was like a really like basic like like twenty dollar drawing tablet. Um. And then I got like a like a cheap like ten dollar software, and then I tried to learn it, and I was just like I have no idea what I'm doing, and then I stopped. <laughs> That's that's what happened. Um, yeah, I originally wanted to be like one of those like little story time guys and everything. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, becoming a story time YouTuber at like, you know, like 13, 14, because all my stories would have been like about like school or something or just like lame stuff. I didn't I hadn't quite lived, you know, I didn't really have many stories to tell at that age. You know, but yeah, no, I wanted to I wanted to be I always love um, animation and all that. I've always, I always, I always love doing that. Yeah. School stories are nuts. Yeah. I mean, you guys have, you, I, I haven't told this story in a while. Um, so maybe it's enough time, but, um, I used to basically, um, it was, it was, it was me and two of my friends at the back of the class. Um, basically we had like this, this teacher and everything, right. Who we just like. For some reason, she just hated like two of my friends. And I don't know why. Like she just she just had it out for them, right? And basically what we would do is we would just pull a lot of pranks. That's probably why they hated them. Um, but it was but I would never get in trouble for them, which is really interesting. I would I would never get in trouble for them. Um except like once. It's because it's not and it's not because like I had like any like, you know, like, oh, like special treatment or favoritism or anything. No, it was just because I was really good at hiding my tracks and just staying silent because like I didn't seem like the type of kid that would like, you know, like like pull pranks or anything. But like literally on one of them, we like made one of our friends like a paper crown, right? We, we put it we, we, we wrote on it like uh, like I think it was like king of English class or something, right? And then we we hoisted up his desk. <laughs> we we actually like lifted up his desk. 
<laughs> like and so that he was like like a good like a good like three feet off the ground and we just like we just like carried him around the classroom and then and then i didn't get in trouble for that <laughs> like i don't know what it is i didn't i i honestly do not know what it is <laughs> like i was fine i don't know i don't know i don't know yeah no but it's it's really it's really nice it's really nice um because basically the year before i started everything i was in like a film class right like the year the year before i started everything i was in i was in like a film class um and that's actually i think where i got the idea of like um basically because i remember having a conversation with my teacher right I, I sat him down and I said, or I didn't like sit him down. Like I didn't go sit down, but basically um, that that class is where everything started, like genuinely, um, because I was like talking to him about it and everything. And I was just like, man, I really want to like, you know, learn how to, um, I, I really want to like, you know, like become a content creator and everything, become a YouTuber. Cause I think I really like enjoy, I enjoy making things and all that. Um, and he said, okay, well, how do, how, how do you think you're going to do it? You know, like discoverability is really hard. And I, I told him like, okay, so there's this, there, like, there's this, you know, the app TikTok and everything, right? That has insane discoverability. So if I use that in order to get them to move to other platforms, then potentially I could get enough subscribers and enough viewers on YouTube to then be able to get monetization. And that's what I told him. I was like, I was like telling him like my entire strategy about everything, um, and then I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think I might be able to do this and everything. Um, and then and then COVID hit. Um, and I was just like, oh, OK. And then like like six months into it um, was when everything was like kind of blowing up. And I was just like, huh, I wonder if I could do this. And then and then I just I just like. And then, you know, and then, you know, the story from there, you know, the story from there, you know, you know, the the puns raid, the Nikki stream and everything. Oh, man, I actually talked with Nikki um, today. Nikki and I are going to be Nikki and I are going to be doing some some stuff pretty soon, which I'm very excited for. Which is gonna be fun. So yeah. That's gonna be fun. I'm excited for that. Oh man. Uh were you in theater? No. Surprisingly, no. Everyone everyone always expects me to be, but I wasn't. I, I just wasn't. I went I went to uh I went to like plays and everything. I went to see musicals and all that. I love them. But me, I was never, I was never really, if I, if I were to be in theater, I would have been like tech. I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been like on stage or anything. I don't think I would have been. Cause I was a, 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 I was an anxious boy. Still, still am. But yeah. What month of 2022 would you want to go back to? None of it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good leaving 2022, you know? If I were to go to one the 2022, I'd say December. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm good with leaving that. That 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 felt like four different years. 2022, like my God. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who still doesn't know what to do with their life and is very worried about it? Anything can happen. That's that's something that okay, something that like people worried about just like oh like everyone expects everyone to like have everything figured out by like you know you have to have everything figured out by 18 you have to have everything figured out by like 20 you have to have everything to figure out by like 25 or whatever there's always like an age that apparently you have to get to and that is when you have to have all your stuff together you don't you don't like any anything can happen at any age you know you may you may like spend like you know, like years of your life doing something you don't enjoy to suddenly have it switch and then you have you do something that you do enjoy, right? Just never, I would say, never give up an opportunity, right? If you are currently not happy with what you're doing, right? If you are like not happy with like where your job is or, you know, how you're doing school and everything, never give up opportunities to do different. Cause that's, cause that's, a, that's a thing, right? Cause you can get really, really scared of, oh, what if I like try, so, try this thing and then it fails, right? Or what if I, what if I try this thing since you're on a different life path and it fails and I put all my eggs in this basket and it fails. That could happen. Yeah. But it's like, I, I don't know. It all depends on your point of view because I know that I would never, I would never want to live with the fact that I know that I didn't try, you know? 
I never I would never want to really live with like the idea of having not done something simply because I was too scared and didn't want to try because anything can happen. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. You don't know what the hell's going to happen. No one knows what's going to happen. We're all, we're all a bunch of people trying to trying to like kind of like fake that we know what we're doing, right? Even I'm faking that I know what I'm doing by giving you guys an inspirational speech and I have no idea what the hell that I'm talking about and I'm still 19 years old, right? Like, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You kidding? Of course, of course I'm saying that anything could happen because, you know, I, I randomly had like, you know, my my like random dream job just suddenly pop up for some reason, right? It's 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 not going to always like apply to everyone and everything, but I know that if I never took that opportunity, if I never convinced myself to take that leap, then I would never be where I am currently. And I feel like that can be true with small things with everyone. It can be true with big things with everyone, right? It can be true with, it can be true with absolutely anyone, right? Like even just like sending a DM to a friend that you're not sure if they're gonna respond or not. Like I would much rather live with the fact that I tried and failed than didn't try at all, right? And that's a, it's a very basic thing, but thank you, thank you, my stuff for five to ones, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. So you you can take time to figure stuff out. Just make sure that you're living. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, and you will find like thank you, Tazaria. And another big thing also as well is don't compare your life to other people's. That's, that's a big thing because people are raised in completely different ways. People grow up with completely different scenarios, right? And for you to compare your life to someone who may have had it way easier is not fair to you, right? That's, that's, not, that's not fair to you because you're expecting yourself to be something that you you may just physically not be able to be, but that's okay. That's the thing is that the thing is, is that that's okay, right? Like that's going to happen. You are going, but the thing is, is that you're going to find, I'd say, happiness in everything, right? There, even, even how bleak things can be, right? Even if you're having like the worst week of your life and everything, there are always going to be situations that you can find yourself in or people that you can find yourself around or things that you can find yourself doing that'll bring you joy that'll bring you happiness and all that those that is that is i say the one constant you know is that no matter no matter what no matter what life you have no matter where you are you will always there will always be things that'll make you happy right and there will be just as many if not more things that'll make you sad but Again, you can't really have, you know, sad without happy. That's the thing, or else happy just becomes mundane, right? Like you can't, you can't, you can't have like just happy or else that just becomes normal. And then there's no, nothing to compare it to, right? Like I, I would say that like, I don't know, like I'm kind of grateful for sadness in a sense because yes, it, it, trust me, it absolutely sucks. But it also makes me realize when I'm, it makes me a lot more happy whenever I'm like having a good time, whenever I'm doing something that's fun, whenever I'm just like, whenever I've kind of have those moments where I just kind of sit back and realize, oh, things are going okay right now. You know, things are, things are going currently okay. Um, but to go back to the question of just, again, there, there will be opportunities. You don't have to worry about figuring everything out. It, it, it'll seem like a race because you're gonna be comparing yourself to everyone else and everyone else always is always going to seem like they have it a lot more together than you do. That's always going to happen. But you just kind of have to realize, like, no one no one knows what the hell they're doing. Some people may know what they're doing more than others, but, you know, thank you, Squiggly, for 22 months. Thank you, thank you. Um, hope you're doing well. Thank you. But, um, yeah, no, I would say, yeah, you don't have to worry. That's the thing, because because I know that when I, like, worry or when I do something, I end up just not doing anything, and that doesn't help. That doesn't help anything you know you have to you have to do stuff you know you can't just be like paralyzed by fear and trust me that happens that happens to me all the time it happens to me all the time oh, but yeah that's that's what i'd say uh for that answer to that question because it's just like you just gotta make sure you know everything's going good or you just have to make sure that you're okay and the people around you are also okay let's see what we're gonna be talking someone said that i thought we were gonna be talking about like the fnaf movie except we're talking about this um 
I think it's going to be good. I think that the FNAF movie is going to be good. I, you know, people may think that it's going to be bad. I think that it's going to be one of the greatest adaptations of all time. I'm not even kidding. I think it's going to be great. I, I think it's going to be one of the greatest video game movie adaptations of all time, especially in the horror genre. Because you, you have to realize that, like, I'm pretty sure the only, like, you know, sort of quote unquote video horror video game uh, to screen adaptation that there has been was that really weird Slenderman movie a while back. And that one just was wasn't wasn't too good. You know, so I think this is going to be it's going to be very groundbreaking in the sense of it's going to be the first of its kind. Um, it's going to be like one of the first like sort of like horror video game adaptations that might actually be good. I know that there was Resident Evil movies made, but I, I, I yeah I was okay as soon as I said that a chat message appeared. I know that there were Resident Evil movies made. Um, I haven't seen those ones. From what I've seen, they've been all right. But I also know that the Resident Evil movies don't really follow like the games, if that makes sense. It more just sort of like it more just sort of like makes a new story in the universe. Right. While this one, well, I believe the FNAF movie is going to be like the main story. I think an adaptation of the main story, The Last of Us show. Oh, I'm excited for that. No, I'm going to uh, hell yeah, I'm going to watch The Last of Us show. I've seen. Have you guys seen the visuals of The Last of Us show? They've done it like shot for shot. They've remade it like like almost perfectly. Like, and that's the really cool thing of a modern video game um, turning into like a modern TV show is that they're able to just straight up just port over assets, you know? And it looks it looks really really good. It looks it looks amazing. How do you think the Dungeons and Dragons movie is going to be? I hope it's cheesy as hell. I hope it's I hope I hope they just make so many nerd jokes and references, and I just hope that it is I hope that it is just nerdy and just just lame as hell. And I'm gonna love every second of it if it's like that. The Barbie movie as well, but but for different reasons. I think that the Barbie movie is also going to be like. I, I could see I could see the Barbie movie hitting a billion dollars. I'm not even kidding. I, I could see that movie hitting a billion dollars because I know that I'm going to watch it. I I'm, I want to watch it on like release day. I'm so excited for that movie, you know, because because like I saw when I saw like the setting and everything and how it is just like the pink houses and they just didn't try to make it like like realistic. Someone said someone said it was like live action Dr. Seuss levels. And it's like, that's what, that's what we need. That's the thing. We just need to start, at, like I've seen, okay. You know, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be like, has anyone seen that like white noise movie? Not, not me and Sneak, but the white noise movie. But does anyone, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Do you guys, do you guys do this? Do a couple people, a couple people watched it? Okay. To anyone who has watched it. I, I don't know if I was just really tired while watching it, but like, I, it was kind of all over the place for me. That, that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it because it feels like one of those movies where you have to like look into a deeper like meaning of it, right? But then it's like, it's almost too much in that sense. It's almost like you have to go too far to find like the deeper meaning or anything, right? It's really, it was really, it was kind of confusing to me in that sense. You know, and that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking about is that like I worry that with film and everything that we are approaching a point where everything has to have this sort of like this super big like deep meaning to be looked into some like giant thing. There has to be reasons. There has to be allusions to these things happening at the beginning. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense. There has to be all this stuff and everything, right? That's that's fun. I like those films and everything, but I'm worried that we're getting to a point where it is becoming a point where every single movie has to be like that. Where every single movie in order to get like an award or in order to do well has to have like some like really big deep underlining meaning or like some like 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 uh you know like a commentary on something, right? And it's just like like yes, I think that those are good, but it's just like I don't I don't know. I think that I think that a good film that did this was um, Everything Everywhere All at Once and the Jordan Peele trilogy as well. I think that those are perfect examples of how to like have commentary in film while also sticking to your like absolutely just nuts plot, you know, because it's just like when you think about it, nope, that was a nuts movie. I love nope. I love nope so much. Um,
and everything everywhere all at once as well it stuck to its sort of like ridiculousness in order to tell in order to give you that deeper meaning right and that's 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 what i that's what i really really liked about it get out is also really good oh get out is get out is amazing i, I really really like get out and us as well i think that i i, I liked us as well i like the concept of us I think I just I think I just like Jordan Peele's films. Midsommar? That one that one was pretty cool. I like I like that one too. I like the way that it was filmed. Daylight horror is something that um that isn't like usually people use like, you know, like dark scenes and everything, right? In, in order for something to be scary, it has to be oh maybe on my wrist or my spine. I careful about the spine. That's all I have to say. I don't I don't know. But um I really, really liked it because it was filmed during the day, right? Like that's a that's a huge thing is that it was filmed during the day and I love it when films, when like horror films do that because then it's like, you have to make what you're looking at really, really scary if you're filming it during the day because the darkness already sort of adds like that sort of fear to it, right? Like the, the darkness already adds like a fear level, right? Because people are scared of the dark. People are scared of the unknown and everything. But in order to, sh is showing something scary in complete daylight, is a whole nother level. It is so much harder to do, and it is, and it makes things so much scarier as well. Because then it's just like, yeah, this thing isn't being hidden by the night, right? It is just being shown. Smile. I haven't watched Smile, but I heard that it was a lot better than people originally thought. I, 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 I haven't watched Smile all the way through. I think I watched like the first like thirty minutes of it, and then I had to do something. Um, but it, it apparently people said that it was really good. Um. Pains on the Mario movie? I think the Mario movie is also going to be good. That's the thing. I think I, the thing is, right? I don't have, I don't have movies that I don't really dislike. I have movies that I like, you know, wouldn't watch again, but I don't, I never don't like a movie except for Morbius. I hated Morbius. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, Morbius was just the one that I actually, I just didn't want to watch it. Like, that's the thing. Like, I just didn't want to finish watching it. Like there was just, there was just, there just came a point where I was just like, this is just bad. <laughs> like, because I usually, I, I'm not someone that just like, oh, this movie didn't have all of this like checklist stuff. So therefore I don't like it. Like, no, I, if a movie is a movie, I'm going to watch it. I don't think that there are, I don't, I don't think that there are necessarily like bad movies, if that makes sense. Right. But, you know, except for that, wasn't there like a, wasn't. Oh wait, hold on. No, I lost it. Never mind. Um, yeah, I really like the screen movies. Oh, I I like the screen movies. The screen movies are also cool. Thank you, Dahlia, for the thirty tier ones. Thank you so much. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. Um, anyway, screen movies. I think that the screen movies are good as well. I really like what they did with the um with the sort of requel thing where they just made it extremely so like I, I don't know. I feel like Scream is interesting because it's like it it can be bad on purpose right that's the thing when you have a self-aware sort of show right or a self-aware movie right if you make it bad then people can write it off as just like oh yeah no this is just you know the point of the film is that it's bad right you know um let me see unpopular opinion but chucky movies weren't as awesome and life-changing as people say um I think that no, I no, I think that no, on, honestly no. Like honestly, I would have to I would have to usually disagree on that. I think that the Chucky series has done a lot for horror. And it has done a lot for the um the horror genre in general. I think that's done a lot as well cuz like like they like it it's it's sort of hmm. I'm trying to think. I think it's a, yeah, no. I, I, I think that the Chucky series and the Child's Play series, um, well, actually, fun fact, Chucky is a different entity from Child's Play. Um, the people who own Chucky and the Chucky series don't necessarily own the rights to the original Child's Play, which is why they were able to do that reboot of it um, with, um, with Mark Hamill. They were able to do a reboot of it um without like basically the sort of not necessarily permission but like they didn't really have a lot of the people that worked on the chucky series work on that reboot um which is why i said that i felt kind of like off about it um yeah um but no chucky and the child's play series has done has done has done a good amount i really like the the tv series as well 
I, I like the TV series as well, but I think I think that's done a good amount, especially in the especially in the world of practical effects, because they had like puppets and everything. And if you look at the um like the technical aspect of like of the Chucky doll like walking around, it is extremely impressive. They had like six guys at one point, each with their own tiny little monitor, like each operating a little part of the um of the actual like robot that was sick that was absolutely sick um someone said the fear street trilogy i thought that was good i thought that was i i again you you guys are rarely going to see me go eh, i thought that this was actually kind of bad that's the thing it's like it, it's it's I, I rarely think that films are like not fun to watch and i thought that fear street was another one of them i i like them as well um I liked, I liked the Fear Street trilogy as well. I thought that it was a wonderful way of doing it. I thought that it was a really cool concept. You know? I thought that it was, I thought that it was a wonderful concept. Yeah, that's the thing is that I, I don't, I, I rarely dislike films. That's the thing. Like, I, I don't think there's ever been a film where I watched that and just like, man, I wish I didn't watch that. You know? Uh, what's your favorite online horror thing? Uh, oh, this is something I haven't talked about. I love SCPs. <laughs> I absolutely love um, SCPs. I absolutely love them. I think that I think that it's such a fantastic thing, and I really, I, I really, really hope that a, I don't know. I don't think I don't think I don't think I, I I want there to be like a a movie or an official thing made because one that I don't I don't know how SCPs work when it comes to like them being in the public domain right and I feel like if someone were to capitalize on that and make the SCPs into sort of a like an actual movie or like an actual thing um, then it would always fall flat because part of the wonderful part about SCP is that it is a bunch of people. It's a bunch of people all coming together to make their own giant universe based around all this, right? And to make a movie or to make it a, a quote-unquote um, official thing is to essentially say, hey, you know that universe that you guys have all created? This is how it is. This is how it works. And if anything's wrong, well, then you just aren't going to like it, Right? And that's just kind of sucks. That just kind of sucks. Right? Like, that's just, that's just kind of, that's just kind of, that just kind of sucks. So hopefully, um, hopefully nothing official ever gets made of SCPs, I think, honestly. You know, if, if someone wants to take the concept and make it, maybe, it, but it has to be done like really, really well. But yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's make an SCP. I, I was, I don't know. I don't think I could. Maybe, I, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm making, I'm making my own thing. I'm making my own, my own universe. <laughs> That's the thing. Is that I'm making, I'm making, I'm making my own universe with everything. So I'm, ta I always, the way that I have sort of like crafted generation loss and everything, right? Is sort of, I've just taken a lot of inspiration from basically everything around me. I've taken bits that I like, taken bits that I don't like, taken bits that I love, taken bits that I don't love. And I've mashed it all into one thing that is essentially specifically catered towards me, right? That's the thing is that it is, it is essentially officially, it is just catered towards me, right? And that's, and that's what I love. That's what I love. Uh, from us as well. Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know the um, the art and the artists and everything, um, are the re or, or like you guys have essentially like really really shaped and really defined sort of the overall not necessarily tone but sort of vibe if that makes sense. Um, but the thing is, is that it's like it, I you guys will understand once the teaser comes out on exactly how generation loss works. That's the thing. You guys will understand what I mean, but um, yeah, no, I mean, again, like the artists and everything, it, you guys have, you guys have really, really like sort of just, just to, just to find a lot, you know? And um, yeah, no, so that's, that's really cool. But the thing is, is that with this, 
Oh, I can't say anything, dude. I'm, I'm so pissed. I can't wait to do my director's commentary. You guys are going to get so much stuff. You guys are going to, you guys are going to get so much stuff. Once I, once I got that director's commentary. Uh, time frame for merch. Uh, hopefully by like, you will hopefully have merch by at the least April. Um, at the very, very least April for merch. So, so rev up those fryers. Save, save, save up. It's, I'm going to try to make it. You guys know me. I'm going to try to make it as cheap as possible. Uh, but the thing is, right, it has to be kind of delayed because it's like every single merch. Guys, you guys have no idea just how crappy so many merch companies are sometimes. Like. What the hell? <laughs> so many creator merch companies are just like, just turn out to just be weird. And it's like, just come on, dude. Come on. So annoying. It makes me it makes me so like just annoyed because I've had to switch like five times. Yeah. It makes me it makes me very annoyed. But yeah. Hey. What what can you do really? What can you do? Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. You said a while back that one of your favorite movies was Rocket Man. I need to know if that's still true. That is still true. Um, not necessarily because of like the film and everything, but just more the film meant a lot to me as a kid. Right? Like Rocket Rocket Man just meant a lot to me as a kid. Um, because it was like, you know. I was just like, wow, look at that. This guy's successful. And gay. Whoa. You know, like that was, that was, that was, it was, it was a good, it was a good thing for me to like sort of watch as a kid. Cause I was just like, yeah, like, it, like uh, you guys have to realize that like as a, as a kid, because of like, sort of, uh, like kind of like the area I grew up in, my house was fine. But sort of the area I grew up in, I had to cling on to any like, sort of like any, pretty much anything that I could get. When I saw like a, uh, like a, like a little, like a, it was like, it was in June and I saw like a little pride thing on like the window of a gas station. And I, and I thought about that for the rest of the month because that was the only thing that I saw in like my, in my hometown and everything. I was just like, man. And I, I, I clung on to anything, right? When, when, when when <laughs> when when love simon came out dude i was all over that cuz i was just like yeah I mean, that's that's just what i did like i was i was all over that and it was like whenever whenever like a show had like a gay character in it i was just like let's watch this show for for no reason in particular <laughs> you know oh man no but that's that's just kind of that's just kind of what I did and everything. So that's why I really liked Rocket Man, and I remember rooting for Rocket Man um, at like the when it was like going up for awards and everything, because it was like it, it, I don't know it's it, it just meant a lot to me as a kid. So, and now now whenever I think about just how like more more open I am with everything and then i think about like because when i went back to my like like town everything um for uh christmas and all that and i was just like walking around the same places and i was just like man like i remember i remember like you know like being terrified you know and i was just like oh man i was worried that i was gonna be like just alone you know but then i then now i'm like oh yeah i'm doing i'm doing good so that's really so that's really sweet yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Squiggly. For 22 ones. Thank you, thank you. I hope that you were doing well on this fine day. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just thought about that. I was just like, man. You know, like, I cannot believe that all this stuff has, um, has sort of, like, changed and, and shifted and all that. And that I, I've changed so much. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a completely different person from who I was, like, even just a year ago. Like... Even even just a year ago, it is it is different. It is very, very different. Yeah. I remember going to like the bookstore and looking for the gay books. I was just like, 
Okay, I'm going to read this. Even if it was like the worst book imaginable. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Um, How does it feel to be that thing that kids are clinging on to now? That's sick. I'm happy. Like, I, I'm... I'm that's cool. Like, again, I've, I've talked about that before. I've talked about the fact that I would probably be someone that I would have watched as a kid. And I'm just like, yeah, that's sick. Like, that's that's cool. Like, am I, am I the best example? No. <laughs> I don't I don't think so at all. I'm not the best example at all. I, I'm going to make just a lot of mistakes, you know? And it's just like, whenever I think back, like, I, I'm still going to... I'm still gonna mess up a bunch, I'm sure. You know, it's it's scary, but I know I know that I probably will because I'm I'm a person, 19. You know, it's really it's really interesting because it's just like I never realized like I felt so old at 16. But then I was like I realized like that's when I started all of this, and it's like 16 year olds should not have to handle all of that. You know. Like a, a six, a 16, early 17 year old should not have to, should not have to like, like do all that. Like it is wild. You know, like I was just like, damn, <laughs> I, I got, I got, I like, I don't know how I got through it, but I think it was just because I was so excited that sort of everything was like, it, it felt like things were going into place. You know, so I was just like, I'm going to keep doing this. And I did. Yeah. It was really, it was really interesting. When will you actually put the topic you're talking about on screen? <laughs> I, I was going to do this thing where I changed it every single time, but. Uh, any, anything, just anything. There it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's um. Yeah, no, the world, the world is, the world is interesting. And uh, earlier today, I got sent a question. Hold on, I got sent a question by uh, by Amesy. And it says, uh, "Who is super cool?" Uh, and they also gave me the answer, and the answer was uh, <laughs> Amesy. So there it is. <laughs> There it is. There's the there's the there's the, the question from from Ainsley. Um Do you have any travel plans for this year outside the generation lost stuff? Uh, I plan to go to conventions. Um, I really want to do a if generation loss comes out in time for convention season, I'm going to do generation loss panels. Hopefully, if I can, if I can get it, I would love to. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to get one. So if 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 it comes out during uh before all the uh conventions start, I'm gonna try to do a panel for my project. Because I'm really hoping that my project will be cool enough. You know? <laughs> Even for 23 months. Thank you guys for all the subs today. It does, it does, of course, as always, mean a lot. Uh let's see, let's see, let's see. There you are. Uh, I, keep on, I keep on looking over, but it just doesn't show up. Class and Coraline scarred me as a kid, but good, you know? Uh, do you have a letterboxed account? Um, thank you, Loveliness, for the five to ones. Uh, no, I do not, and I don't think I'm going to make one because I don't want anyone to think that, I'm that I know what I'm talking about ever. That's the thing. I don't want I don't want anyone to know, like, oh, yes, this is my professional opinion based on I don't know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about, dude. I'm just trying to, I'm just living. I'm just living, man. You know? <laughs> Something just, yeah, it's just like, if I, if I like a movie, then I like a movie. If I don't, then I don't. I'm, uh, if I talk about it, then just rest assured knowing that I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Oh man, whoa. Big Lavender Haze for the five tier ones. Thank you. Maybe people go crazy with a single picture. Yeah, I do that a lot, apparently, for some reason. 
so funny because I never expect it. You think that I would. You think that I would expect it after like all this time for me to be like, oh yeah, no, if I post this, some people might like it. And then I was just like, and then I was just like, I just never expect it. It's really funny. Thank you, Adam Snail, for the five ones as well. Thank you. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Going back to the hashtag Rambu Q&A stream. Um, if you had to change the way you, you handled something in the past, what would it be? Um, I would have, let me think. I think I would have, I think I would have uh, kept in touch with people more. Because I, I still have a problem with keeping in touch with people, but I had a huge problem uh, back when I was like, 15 16 of just like reaching out to people especially during um quarantine and all that just reaching out to people and like keeping keeping in touch because it's just like yeah I'm, I'm a lot better at it now but if i were to you know take a skill and then bring it back it'd be that because i'm just absolutely terrible at it what was going through your mind when you wrote all of this and it's the um it's the <laughs> it's the uh the shot by shot thank you gold servants for the tenter ones thank you um, it's the shot by shot thing of the uh, spring trap scene. Um, I, I, that's just been in my mind. I could, I could, if I, if I wanted to, right? I don't know if it'd be good. All right. Again, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing or what I'm talking about at any given time. Uh, thank you, Chris Lane, for the five to ones. But I, I think that I could make like a, like if I was given all of the lore and everything, I think that I could make like a, um, a FNAF movie. Like, or I could at least plan out an entire movie. Um, and that's what I did for like the opening scene or something. I like, I, I don't know if it'd be good. It probably wouldn't be good at all, but I, I just know that like, I probably could. It would take me a while, but yeah, it, it would like, it would be cool. But instead I'm just doing it with generation loss, you know? Cause, um, yeah. As fun fact, um, I talked about this. I'll give you guys a little generation loss leak. We'll we'll we'll, we'll talk about the uh, the big stream, um, a little bit. Um, basically, generation loss is going to be, um, as live as possible. So every single or as as much as we can, every single shot, every single uh, effect. It's going to be happening as it is going. It is going to be happening at the same time. Not, I'm going to try to have as little pre-recorded as possible. You know, we may have to have some pre-recorded stuff for certain things, but we're going to try to make everything, everything live. Which is going to be pretty sick. Yeah, so everything is, yeah, all the effects... Everything is going to be happening as like as, as you're watching it, which is going to be cool. It's going to be pretty cool. That's all I'm going to talk about. It. There's your leak for like the month. You'll get you'll get a lot more information soon. All right. You'll get a, you'll get a lot more information soon. All right. Yeah. Uh, any tips for amazing cool places to go? Uh... Oh, I don't know, man. I don't go outside. <laughs> Dude, I don't I don't know, man. I have I, I I'm I I don't know. I rarely go outside. I only go to like the mall and that's it. <laughs> Live explosion. <laughs> I'd love that would be funny. Um <laughs> oh man, the mall. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> so excited to see you working with Ghost Commander. Yeah, I'm excited to be working with these guys. They've done some, they know, some cool stuff. Uh, do you plan to do any more Dungeons and Dragons things soon? Um, maybe I'd love to, but I just don't have time. <laughs> That's the thing is that I'm going to be traveling like here and there, here and there, here and there. So it's going to be like, I need to settle down. <laughs> you know, I need to, I think, I think next year is the, well, no, not even this year is going to be the year of just so much work. 
for like the first huge bit of the year. And then like towards the end, I might be settled down a little bit. Or I might just be working on something more. You have no idea what I'm doing. You've got, you've got no clue. You have no, you have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh man. Yeah. No, I'm just, oh. What's the thing you're doing this month? That's a secret. That's a secret. I have so many secrets. I have so many secrets, guys. This can be great. Oh, man. I love making things. I love making things so much. Just like being whatever I describe something, right? Because I've been I've been working back and forth. Um, for the prequels and everything. And it's just like. Man, just like just seeing things like that I'm that are in my mind come to fruition is always the coolest thing. It is a fa it is a fantastic feeling. Care to share the secret? No. God damn, I really want to though, but I know that it will do better if I um release it as the prequel. So, I'm going to release it on the as the prequel. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, I think that's going to be the stream for today. Um yeah. I, I have talked way too much this stream. Uh, not not way too much, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for the 25 tier ones. Yeah, if you want to subscribe, if you want to follow, now will be the time. Thank you for the 25 tier ones. Thank you. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, most likely for something different. Uh, but it also could just be the same thing. It could just be me talking about stuff. You never know. Uh, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the subs today. 568 means a ton, uh, of course. I'll see you guys tomorrow as well. I am, uh, thank you for the fighter ones as well. I'm a streamer, so of course I'm going to be streaming on the weekends when you guys are most free. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, hope that you guys enjoyed just me talking. Um, you guys have always said like, oh, just, just go live just talking. And that's what I'm doing. That's literally what I'm doing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Katie Dragon Love, for the 10 tier ones as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed it um i'll see you guys tomorrow for more stream shenanigans um i will figure out something cool to do tomorrow i think i'll uh i don't know i got new clothes by the way um i got like a um i got new clothes like from from what i ordered that one time so yeah so i'm probably gonna go try those on because those came in today um so yeah i'll go i'll, I'll see you guys hope you guys have a great day today uh yep take care of yourselves um remember just find stuff that makes you feel happy dude am i right all right i'll see you guys so you guys have a great yesterday thank you again for all the support i'm going to make so much cool stuff for you guys this year all right bye, -bye everyone bye -bye. bye bye everyone bye 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 bye